Hi friends, today we are going to see the third part and the last part of the resource monitor automation. And in, in this part, we are going to concentrate on how we are going to create the resource monitor by reading the resource monitor master. How we are going to apply the resource monitor to a particular sets of warehouses and how we are going to schedule. So schedule the resource monitor creation procedure. So these are the three portion and how we are going to uh, uh, bridge the part one and part two and part three. So how we are going to utilize the things which we have created in previous part one and part two in part three and how to create a full end to end uh, automation framework. We will see that on part three. So let's start with the demo. So in this demo, as I said, like I will concentrate on the resource monitor creation and uh, and the how, how we will apply. So basically I am going to uh, create a procedure which will do all the tasks and this procedure will have multiple logic which will read the various things which we have created on part one and then it's going to execute them in a proper sequence so that we can achieve the automation framework so before we start i would like to uh, explain you something the logic of the funda before we see the actual code so all resource monitor is the metadata table which will get populated uh, when we execute the procedure which we have created on part two it will generally just read the data uh, snowflake in will function so resource monitor and it will populate the data with along with other metadata column which we have seen on the part one similarly resource monitor uh, resource monitor master is the table which will hold the master metadata which is the base for uh, our resource monitor procedure which will read the resource monitor master table and it will create the resource, mo resource monitor based on the information available as part of input for the statement. So the logic of this procedure, this procedure will not have any parameter. So we will just execute this uh, procedure uh, uh, like normally with the call statement. What the logic will be uh, defined is like uh, before starting this procedure execution, it will look for all the resource monitor. So it will first look for uh, all the means like it will execute the procedure which will populate the all resource monitor because as we are going to check whether that uh, resource monitor exists in that uh, for that master data or not. To do that, we, we need the first the latest data of the resource monitor. So the first step is to execute the procedure which will populate the resource monitor. After that, we will use this table to validate whether the record already exists, means like whether the resource monitor already exists for the combination or not. If not, then only create the stuff. So basically, uh, likewise, we have seen on the warehouse creation that we are going to use certain pattern in the similar way uh, in resource monitor as well we are going to follow a pattern here rm means resource monitor underscore then type whether it's a service or a team i already explained the meaning of those environment whether it's dev prod pre prod whatever project means whether it belongs to a particular project likewise if you are targeting if your warehouse is having certain uh, naming pattern based on the similar pattern we will create the project here we don't need the functionality uh, which we have used in the warehouse because resource monitor is one level on up then warehouse so basically we don't uh, consider whatever functionality it is basically i am going to consolidate all the example all the team warehouse for dev environment for particular procurement project as a single resource monitor for all the functionality so it's not one to one relation it's one to many relations so one resource monitor will monitor the entire project warehouses for that particular environment for that particular type so that's the basic funda of designing the resource monitor name and the logic which will we will use which we have used to create the master setup so particular so uh, for example for team warehouse for the dev environment for the finance project we are going to create a single resource monitor and it will hold and it will club all the warehouse under this 
once we will uh, create the so first we will populate the if there is any uh, resource monitor already existing if yes then populate the this table then we will read this table and we will say that no warehouse should already exist on this show me only those record which doesn't exist on with in short it means like it should not be an existing resource monitor i need to exclude those record and after that we will uh, whatever record which is still eligible for creation we will create that and then again we will populate the resource monitor table to have the latest updated record once that is done then uh, our uh, final goal is to apply the resource monitor to particular sets of warehouses so then the la uh, the important step is to tag the resource monitor to the uh, uh, warehouses group of warehouses and then we will again populate the uh, all warehouses uh, table which is being done by the procedure which we have created on the part one so this is end to end combination uh, what we have done on part one part two we are utilizing on part three in a procedure form so basically uh, there is not a big uh, code on this procedure but there is a logic uh, which which is more important than the code so the similar which way i have explained that i am going to execute the uh, resource monitor uh, procedure call first then going to uh, generate the uh, create a resource monitor uh, statement and uh, reading from the resource monitor master and i am looking that th those resource monitor should not exist on the existing resource monitor table and then i am going to uh, also apply the warehouses so i am going to alter the warehouses and uh, setting the resource monitor for that particular uh, resource uh, for that particular uh, warehouse to do that i am going to utilize the resource all warehouses and all resource monitor table and based on joining i will then get the data of the warehouse name and for the resource monitor and then i will apply so sequence you will see that first uh, i am executing and populating all resource monitor table then i am fetching the resource monitor create a sql statement and then i am looping around and creating all the resource monitor whatever statement i will got so for in current case we will get the six record because there is no resource monitor uh, if you see here in resource monitor we have six record so it will loop around six times and it will create all the resource monitor once resource monitor is created we will again execute the population of resource monitor so that our all resource monitor table has all the data and then after doing that we will again execute the alter statement of the warehouse and tag the warehouse means like tag the resource monitor on the warehouse once that is done we have to again execute the uh, we have to ex uh, again execute the alter resource monitor uh, we have to populate the alter resource monitor table and we also have to populate the uh, all warehouse table so let execute uh, let's create this table uh, sorry procedure and then i will show you the entire execution so now my uh, procedure has been created and now before doing anything i just want to showcase you like all warehouses if you see here all my resource monitor column is empty if you see here because as of at the moment i don't have any resource monitor created if i see on the monitor master i will see the six record but if i see on the all resource monitor it is blank zero rows right now i'm going to execute this statement call statement for this procedure which i have just created and it will execute and give me the success message or something like that and once that is done i will show you that resource monitor has been created so now it says like success which means there is no error now if i go and see the all warehouses you will see that it has been populated with the resource monitor name so each warehouse has their own resource monitor name so if i expand this one and go a bit right and expand try to see if i can expand this one as well yes so if i go here uh, i'm not sure okay i can't bring that but okay so if you see here if i short this with the resource monitor you might i will explain you why this is null but before doing that if you see here that i have a combination you can see the same resource monitor name over here four times 
but if you will see over here sorry not four times three times but if you see over here that it's all service warehouse that's the reason it belongs to all service uh, resource monitor it belongs to dev environment here resource monitor is also dev environment here the project is finance and here the project is also finance so these are the three uh, important factor which will decide which warehouse, warehouse will tag to which resource monitor here the functionality of the warehouse is different if you see here but then it is tagged to the main resource monitor because we are grouping one level above the warehouse level so all this resource monitor is the warehouse level resource monitor but it is going to club all the related uh, for particular environment type and project so now here you will see that this resource monitor will monitor these three warehouses Similarly, now if I go here on the account and if I refresh, you will see that now I have six resource monitor created over here. And if I go and expand the warehouses column, you will see that all the warehouses have certain, lim uh, certain uh, related uh, warehouses for your, uh, like, uh, I hope you are able to see all the things on the screen. But uh, it's going to club everything related to that thing, uh, related to the particular uh, resource monitor. This resource monitor is empty because we don't have any warehouse for the IT uh, role. That's the reason there is no warehouse over here. So we have just created the resource monitor because we have executed the or we have created the master setup. But as the moment we don't have any warehouse and that was the reason we don't have not a single warehouse created now lo let's go back and let me uh, just go on the top on the warehouse exit creation statement and let me quickly just copy this uh, let me go again and is it a service warehouse yes it's a service warehouse so i will go here i will copy this service warehouse we'll just go here and i will just change this one with it rest i will keep everything as is I will execute this and now it will create a warehouse with uh, this name so if I go here and do save show warehouse and if I go by creation date or something or it, I get just I will just go here and just but it's not too much uh, where is the IT okay here you see the PBI with IT right so we have used the PBI with IT now we have created the warehouse and if I go at the end, I don't have to do anything because I am executing everything over here with a single execution of the procedure. So I will just execute this procedure and uh, you will see that it will also tag the warehouse against this resource monitor. So it will not create the resource monitor because that's already created and it will not give any error message because it will skip. But it will go ag against that warehouse and it will tag the name so here if I expand a bit and if I go and see the in depth purchase okay and where is the IT okay now you see that here IT and here the sorry here the resource monitor name and if I go here and if I refresh you will see that the warehouse has started coming over here so this is how the resource monitor automation will work and if I go here and uh, just do any edit, you will see that what is the definition which I provided based on the metadata which I have created. So here the resource monitor name, quota is 200, monitor level is warehouse. These are the three warehouse which is going to monitor. It will start on 21st because I have just created and it will notify at the 50%, 75% and 95%. That was my logic. I don't want it to uh, suspend or suspend and notify these two options. I just want it to notify on all the three different percentages. So that was the logic uh, for end-to-end -end automation. Now comes the last part which I have not done the coding but then uh, that's pretty much uh, straightforward. We will create a task and we will schedule this uh, because if you have seen the logic of the resource monitor it has just executed we i have just executed today and it has created the resource monitor start date from the 
tomorrow so the logic will be that we will create a task and schedule this resource monitor uh, execution uh, this one this create resource monitor call at the end of every month so at the end of every month if we execute this procedure so whatever new warehouse is there and uh, whatever metadata new we have created uh, based on these two combination it will create the resource monitor so what will be the task once this framework once this framework is ready we don't have to do anything so we are as a normal process whenever there is a request you you must go and create a warehouse that will always be there so there is no skip of that but what we don't have to do we don't have to go and create the resource monitor or other stuff rather we'll just insert the data so the moment we will get a request of a new project type or any new combination we understand we will go ahead and create the master setup or even if we don't have to do that we can go ahead and execute our query which we have already written over here so if i go here and if i come here and execute i will see if there is any record which is still available which i have not executed so you see that there was one warehouse which there was no resource monitor there was still a warehouse which doesn't have any resource monitor tag let me go to the uh, all warehouses and then i will show you so if i go here by scroll this there is no resource monitor because we have not created any resource monitor for the purchase department now that is also being stored on my select statement because we have intentionally not inserted the record for that particular source monitor for this demo now if i go here and execute i see that it's showing me that this record is missing so i will copy this and if i go here and now if i go and execute this so let me just remove this one and if I go here and uh, let me just execute this now if I go in the master I will see the seven records and now if I go and execute this uh, so the, the thing which I am just showing you is the normal process so create procedure will always create the procedure so you don't have to worry about and there is no tightly coupling between the creator of a warehouse and the create of resource monitor so create warehouse will is a separate process that will go on because that's maybe 10 times in a day you might create a warehouse example it's not always true but that i'm just giving an example but resource monitor can't be done on daily basis because you might have a resource monitor on a monthly basis so we can schedule the creation of resource monitor but the only thing is uh, whenever we have any new combination we can check or we can also schedule the, this job, this SQL statement. So we don't have to even worry about that. So we, we can execute, we can create a task and uh, execute this uh, select statement in such a way that it will execute the call statement. Or we can create a small procedure which will read this uh, select statement every time it execute. And if there is any record, it will just execute that call statement. If that statement is being called, it will insert the record in the master table that's that can also be possible we don't have to do anything so every month uh, uh, before running the call statement for create resource monitor we can create another procedure which will execute this statement insert the record and then we will execute this create resource monitor statement so when we execute this statement now if i execute this it will just go and create one new resource monitor and tag the resource monitor to that warehouse so it will show me the success message once that is done we'll go ahead and here or we can just simply go here and we will go on all warehouses and now we will go here and we will see that there is no more resource matter which is null there is no warehouse uh, which is having null uh, resource monitor so for that this was the purchase department for which it was null so now it is no more none. So this was end to end uh, validation or end to end uh, automation of the resource monitor which I wanted to showcase you. And this is one of the way uh, to achieve this. There might be many other ways uh, which you, you can uh, do that. And I will be happy if you can share that with everybody for the benefit of all. 
hope you like the demo and if you like the demo please subscribe to my channel and like the video and share with your peers thank you